I am the endorsed program with the Association of County Commissioners on OPEP. Um, I don't know how familiar you guys are with OPEP. OPEP stands for Other Post Employment Benefits. And what what we did back in January, um, we were down with the Association of County Commissioners, their annual meeting. Which one, CCAWB or WDACF? Vivian Parsons. CCAWB. Um, and basically what we had was about a two-hour conversation with Ted Chi, who's the head of PEIA. And he basically laid out a plan of what's going to start happening over the next four years. And what I'm going to be going over today is basically the reports from PEIA. That's what Vivian kind of wanted me to do, is kind of put together um, and come around to the different counties to kind of go through what's happening and also to let them know that there are alternatives if they're interested in doing so. <coughs> Um, I sent you guys a lot of reports. I'm not going to go line by line. Um, what I really want to do is kind of start out with this one here. Basically, <clears throat> there's a couple big things that's going to start happening uh, by Ted Cheatham. Um, it says financial plan adopted for plan year 2013. So we have a copy through? Yes, I gave you copies of everything you have to do. Again, like I said, I'm not going to go through everything. But the biggest thing that's going to happen for for you guys being a border county is that PIA here in about, oh, about 10 days is going to release what they call the Shocker Guide for 2013. Um, it's not out yet. I just checked today. But basically what's going to happen is that they're going to start pushing Clan D, yes. which is going to be a West Virginia only plan. And by Ted Cheatham, when he says push it, that means that Basically, they're either going to lower the cost this year to push more people into that and then raise the cost of the other plan, basically plans A and D. But what West Virginia only plan means is you're only going to be able to go to doctors in the state of West Virginia. So if you have, if you have to have something done, and maybe it can be done in uh, we're at the medical center up in Hancock County, that's where you have in Hancock County even though it might be able to be done over here at UVA, Winchester, or somewhere like that, but no, you will no longer be allowed to do that. You'll, you'll have to go to wherever that's done in the state of West Virginia. And if it cannot be done in the state of West Virginia, that'll be the only way that you'll be allowed to go outside the state. Is there any provision for a waiver from the facility that's in West Virginia? Mm -hmm. Like if, if the place in Hancock County can do this procedure, but they say we don't, our schedule is full, we don't have time. It's I don't know, they, have, they didn't go into that yet. Uh, there'll be more coming in. What about quality of care? <laughs> what about the latest technique? What about that? So, I, I mean, I would, I would hope that an insured person would be able to get the best possible medical care uh, under his insurance. I mean, what? Uh, I, yeah, yeah, I don't like the sound of that. What option has the I guess Jason Parker and other kind of thing? They basically went to a national, um, they went to First Health. And what they did was they put a national network in there. They made sure Cleveland Clinic, John Hopkins, UVA, all the uh, facilities in the state of West Virginia are all in the network. So you're still, they can't force you onto this plan right now. Right. But they can, how should I say this, very heavily incentivized guys go on to a West Virginia. What kind of cost changes did uh, the county incur? Um, well, I have that. I'm going to show you guys. I actually am. I see this. And are you recommending anything in particular as a change? Or? Basically, what I'm going to go into is, what I'm going to recommend is that we try to sit down and figure out what type of group <coughs> does that. You know, I can't, I can't sit here and tell you it makes sense what we are. What you have to do is sit down and have everybody fill out individual health questionnaires. Because I think what you guys are around 50 lives. Mm -hmm. That's not about right. That's right. What what happens is we're going to sit down and figure out whether you go to Blue Cross Blue Shield, Coventry, the plan that Willie Parker's on. What we're going to do is sit down and figure out what the costs are going to be based on what people put down on their individual health questionnaire. Did you sit down with Dr. County too to help them decide? Oh yes. Yeah, because that's that's the only way that. Because PEIA will not release what's going on inside your plan, right. they, will not, they will not release that for information, you have to do your individual questionnaires. So, 
I think we did try to get that information. They wouldn't cooperate. They deny it. They'll go. Yeah, they'll run behind HIPAA. They'll say, yeah. it's just not. But that's another conversation. <clears throat> the other thing that's going to really start happening is that they're basically getting rid of all retiree health care benefits. That's what they want to do. Now, legislatively, they cannot, and this came from uh, Mr. Ted Cheatham, but legislatively, we cannot because it's in state stature that we have to provide okay. retiree health care benefits, but we do not have to make it affordable. Right. So that's what these reports, I can go through these, how much you want me to go into, it's up to you guys. But what you'll see is the costs are going to be astronomical. And kudos to PEIA, they're laying it out there, what they're going to do. It's going to be up to you guys to make the decision of whether or not you want to look it up there. So how much do you guys want me to go into the cost and what they're going to be? I mean, they've laid these things out for you. 